So, this is a 1976 Volkswagen Rabbit extended by the Checker Taxi Company. If you haven't seen the introduction video uh, by DAP, Deutsche Auto Parts, go check it out. There is a party uh, having fun over there. Uh, it is a Sunday, so I'm here on a weekend trying to get this thing off my trailer because it will not roll backwards. The transmission is lock solid, so when you spin it forwards, it will go forwards. It won't go into neutral and it won't go into reverse. The second you try and spin the wheels backwards, transmission jams, bounces forwards on the mounts, it is stuck on the trailer. So, in case you haven't watched the video, um, this was built by the Checker Company as an idea for a fuel efficient uh, front wheel drive spacious taxi uh, in the mid 70s would have been a joint venture with the Volkswagen uh, factory in Westmoreland who would have supplied the bodies. Checker then would have extended them. As you can see, it was a two door front with a four door rear with 21 extra inches roughly. I haven't measured it put in about there. Uh, this is the only one. Um, I did go out to Michigan and got it out of storage there where it sat for many years with mice living their entire lives, dying, eating, living, breeding in there. Um, interestingly, even on the wheels, you can see the original yellow paint. You can scratch off the black paint and it's dotted around there. So very exciting that it used to be yellow. However, right now it is mainly Inari green, silver, faded uh, with cool stripes. But the big thing is I need to get off the trailer. So my plan is take the wheels off, undo the axles, and that will allow me to roll out. Then engine transmission needs to come out, clean the heck out the engine bay and plan exactly what I want to do with it. Should it stay original? Yes, I think so. Will it stay original? No, I'm not sure. Um, no matter what, I'm not going to change any of the mounting points so everything can get mothballed, cleaned up and mothballed in case it ever wants to go back to original. But I think doing all the effort to do the 1.5 swap with the 3-speed automatic is not worth it until the body's all done, etc. So I'm rather tempted just to put something in it fun to get it running in the meantime while I fix everything else. Immediate issues. Rust on the floors. The brakes are completely frozen up. The pedal doesn't move an inch. It doesn't go backwards. It's stuck on a trailer. Um, that's kind of the big stuff. Everything else is relatively fantastic, much better than I expected. So right now, wheels off, try and undo the axle bolts, drop both the axles, and then it can go backwards and into the warehouse. really surprised at how non-rusty a lot of these bolts are. For being a Michigan car, it is kind of sensational. Okay, so it's a Raven switch to later style brake calipers with the normal size pad. So that's kind of good. I mean, look at this, it's not even that rusty. In fact, yeah, it's weird. Um, so, there's the six bolts that I need to undo. Here's the automatic transmission that's super jammed. Otherwise, everything looks pretty good. I mean, it's really not bad. I'm genuinely surprised. More. Evidence of mice being under here for a long time. So, 12 point on the end of a huge extension. Reached in. Come loose. So now the axle is loose. Ow, and screwdriver to stop the axle from spinning. So switching over to the passenger side, interestingly, we can see the heater lines that come through where the tie rod is. Goes underneath the floor for the rear passenger water-cooled heating system. But yeah, it didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't really secure it very well there, but that's fine. And I don't know what this wire is for. And it goes almost the whole way back. So that's interesting and also 
quite broken. All right, the axle is now loose. Interestingly, still has an original looking exhaust and shield down. And inside the pulley here is just rust and guts. So another, another mouse nest right inside the pulley and the crank looks pretty rusty. Surprisingly, some parts of the engine look worse than some parts of the body. But excitingly, more yellow paint. So, yeah, I can kind of clearly see it. There's also various stone chips in places that you can see it, but decent rust down the sills. Yeah, pretty crunchy. not even being very aggressive so yeah decent amount to do there still no idea what these go to here let's go take a look yeah, lots more crunchiness there there's a bunch of extra wires wrapped around the e-brake cable there this one goes down still keeps going yeah strange wires all over the place back here. Hmm, interesting shock there. That's not normal. Oh, look at that. Electric wires going into the shock absorber. Wow. Okay. Interesting. And like more cut there, but Wow, let's take another look at that. Alexa, pause. Good grief. Ah, so there is an air line going into a splitter here. And then four wires there, which connect to the side of it, which go all the way down to the front. And then up in through there. So I don't really know where that goes. So it looks like they did upgrade the rear suspension. I know on my Jetta limousine, I did have to, to mess about with the spring rates a little bit, um, but that's really interesting. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen that. So definitely not an OEM Volkswagen part. Looks uh, pretty interesting though. Let's uh, give the suspension a push. Oh, it actually seems okay in the shocks. Wow, wow, that's interesting to say the least. So, should be able to roll off right now. I'm not gonna roll it off into the shop for fear of hitting one of the SEMA cars. I'm um, gonna pull it out and then just let it go down, maybe use the winch a little bit, but pretty much thinking I'm just gonna let it roll and I think it'll be okay. In fact, one of the tires is very flat, so it's not going very far. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get it off the trailer and excited to find a new thing, a new mystery about the rear suspension. I wonder what else I'm gonna find in this car. So my 2005 V8 Touareg has factory air ride suspension. So I've put it into super extra height mode right now, which effectively raises the trailer and gives me a nicer unload angle. Although it is downhill right now on the driveway. So I might put some ramps on there to give me an extra bit of height because no brakes makes it not awesome for unloading even with the winch. So yeah, I'm gonna get the ramps. So here is the new angle. I learned this from the European guys. A uh, set of ramps, extra height, makes it way nicer. Is this DOT, is this safe? Mm, probably, but maybe don't try to home without researching it. But it sure does give me a nice angle. And for low cars, a super nice approach angle. So, I guess let's do it.
so I've got it on the winch. The idea is that I can slowly let it down and also steer it a little bit to straighten it up. Yeah, hopefully controlled and not just complete madness. All right, just about off. I'm gonna chalk the wheel, let go of the winch, and then it can just free coast the rest of the way, hopefully. All right, so that's it. Rabbit Taxi is now off the trailer, thankfully. I guess the next thing in the coming days is to get it uh, up on the lift or actually pressure wash before it even goes in the shop properly. I want to pressure wash the heck out of it and get all the bugs and poop and seeds and nuts and everything else out of there.